That old witch queen is on her way, and we're gonna get you ready to shoot her in the face. I'm Jamie Latour, and this video is gonna get you prepped for Destiny 2's next major expansion. With the Witch Queen expansion, there's going to be a lot of shiny new guns and other Destiny doodads for you to pick up, so you're going to want to have room for them all. That's why it's time to clean out that messy vault. You likely have plenty of junk in there that you aren't even thinking of using again. Dig through all that gear and dump the stuff that's not worth keeping. This includes armor that has a stat value of less than 60, sunsetted weapons, or guns that you're hoping will get buffed, but let's face it, they're not gonna get buffed. Only keep the gear that sparks joy in your heart and get Get rid of the rest of that crap. Since this expansion will mark the beginning of a whole new season, it's time to finish up any seasonal content you haven't gotten to yet. This includes completing all of your seasonal challenges, earning any seasonal titles, and running through any seasonal quests or triumphs as most of the Year 4 seasonal content is going to be taking a long nap inside of the Destiny Content Vault. There's a fair amount of stuff to complete for these seasons, so get on it because you're running out of time, Guardians. You're gonna want to power up all of the new loot you're gonna gather, and to do that, you're gonna need materials. It's time to stock up on upgrade modules, ascended shards, glimmer, and other valuable resources that will help strengthen your character for the new challenges that await them. Stuff your pockets full now, because you don't want to be flat broke and grinding for glimmer when you start a new expansion. You're also going to want to get yourself some high stat armor to be as sturdy as possible when that Witch Queen comes to town. You should be looking for armor that has a stat value that's higher than 60. There are a variety of ways to get your hands on some nice new gear, such as Prophecy Dungeons, Master Level Vault of Glass Runs, or by doing the Dares of Eternity on Legendary Difficulty. We have a full guide on obtaining high stat armor over on our website, so go give that a look for more suggestions on how to find a pair of fancy new boots. Finally, when the new season begins, you'll likely be getting a brand new seasonal artifact and a season pass to level up. So just before the expansion goes live, you should hang on to bounties that you're working on. This includes bounties from the Drifter, Banshee 44, or any of the other tower vendors. When Witch Queen begins, don't turn in any of those bounties until you've gotten the new seasonal artifact. Once you've got the artifact, turn them all in for a nice chunk of XP that will power up your new artifact to give you a nice boost right at the start of the season. For more Destiny 2 news and guides, including more tips to get you prepared for the Witch Queen expansion, head on over to thegamer.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.